Which would you believe more? Science or an ancient belief? Now, if you picked science, then you might be in for quite a surprise. A fun one at that. Some traditions going back thousands of years have actually turned out to be true. From an old cure for hiccups to the crazy power crossing your fingers has on the brain. For all you non-believers, trust me, you're gonna want to hear some of these. I'm Mike with List25, and let's get into 25 superstitions that science has proven true. 25. Egyptian Pregnancy Tests Checking a pregnancy by peeing on a stick isn't as new as it seems. Women have been doing something similar for thousands of years, all the way back to ancient Egypt. But instead of a stick, they actually urinated onto seeds of either wheat or barley. The theory was that if the seeds sprouted quickly, the test was positive. Researchers repeated these tests in 1963 and found that between 80 to 85% of the time, the method worked. Scientists believe that it's because women's urine is packed full of the hormone estrogen during pregnancy. That, I just had flashbacks to elementary school with people calling me Michael Estrogen. Didn't help that they created a product called Estrin D. One day, I was called estrogen over and over and over again. I was kind of teased. I'm like, I'm going to show everyone. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home. I'm going to find my name. So I looked up my name in the dictionary. Estrin. And I'm like, yeah. And I look and it says short for estrogen. And I'm like, nope. So the next day, they're like, well, did you find it? I go, nope. <laughs> I lied. Sorry, second grade class at Gory Elementary in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Miss McWilliams' class. <laughs> anyway, moving on. 24. Feeling weather in your bones. Next time an old person tells you that they can feel the rain coming in their joints, don't be so quick to dismiss them. The science isn't exactly clear, but there is no shortage of research on the topic. Studies going back to the 90s have looked into the phenomenon, with some finding that small decreases in pressure really were felt by some people's bodies, especially people with conditions like arthritis. Fluids running in between our joints, keeping them oiled up and working properly, might be responding to changes in the air, like pressure, temperature. 23. Peanut butter gets gum out of hair. Not that it's likely to happen anytime soon, I hope, but did you know that peanut butter really can be used to remove gum? It's what's called hydrophobic, meaning that it doesn't mix well with water. For a piece of gum caught in between your hair, this is exactly what you want because it removes the stickiness, making it easier to pull out. All you need to do is lather some in and wait for the gum to harden before pulling it out. And maybe take a shower or two afterwards. 22. Sugar cures hiccups. Is there anything more annoying than hiccups? I mean, probably, but go with me here. You might have eaten too fast, been laughing too hard, probably from watching the List 25 video, or your body might be having difficulty processing some food. Whatever the reason, I think we've all heard dozens of fixes that are said to magically cure them. Most of them don't work. That is, most. If you find yourself helplessly gulping in the future, try putting a teaspoon of sugar in your mouth. What this does is stimulate parts of the vagus nerve, which is the one controlling digestion, along with a bunch of other important functions. When this nerve is overloaded, the hiccups are interrupted and stop. According to research, 95% of people were immediately cured of hiccups using this method. I wonder if it would have helped that guy who hiccuped for what, like 85 years or something like that? 60 years, 30 years? It's a long time. We've done videos on that. Maybe, maybe we'll throw it up here. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just look silly doing this. <laughs> 21. Heartburn makes hairy babies. When a baby arrives into the world for the first time, do, do they arrive more than once? They're brand new. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Sometimes, though, they look a little older than others with spots of hair already on their head. This isn't actually random, and the connection is quite surprising. If a mother experiences significant heartburn, then the baby is more likely to have hair. Now there's another reason to keep in shape, otherwise your kid might come out looking like a member of ZZ Top. Hang on, that might not be such a bad thing. Hmm. 20. Knocking on wood. What's the first thing you do if you say something that you don't want to happen? Well, you knock on wood, of course. The superstition probably comes from the Celts, who had a strong attachment to trees, which were near mythological forms. Touching or knocking a tree was likely a way of ensuring good luck. 
Although you are unlikely to summon the spirit of a Celtic god by tapping on your coffee table, it might still help. Some psychologists believe that these kind of superstitions help us make sense of the world and can even work to suppress anxiety and fears while improving our performance in certain areas. 19. Crossing Fingers You ever wonder why we cross our fingers for good luck? It dates back thousands of years to when Christians were targeted for their beliefs. Crossing the fingers was a way to secretly have the cross with them at all times. It looks nothing like one though. There may still be a good reason to keep doing it though, even if you aren't Christian. Researchers found that crossing our fingers can be used to interpret extreme feelings of pain. Don't worry though, nobody was really harmed in the experiment. Instead, participants had alternating fingers connected to either hot or cold sensations, which tricks the brain into thinking the hand is burning. Some participants were told to cross their fingers during the experiment, and surprisingly, it reduced their amount of pain. 18. Throwing salt over the shoulder. Another way to get good luck is by throwing salt over your shoulder. Eh. 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 Well, at least that's the superstition. This one uh, also goes all the way back to the time of Jesus Christ. In that famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, Judas is knocking over a jar of salt. Not a very good dinner guest, it turns out. Nor was he a good friend, which is why salt became associated with betrayal and disloyalty. The action might even help ease feelings of guilt that you might have about something. That salt bay guy must have a guilt-free life then. 17. Walking under a ladder. It is not a good idea to walk underneath a ladder for many reasons. One is obvious, safety. But another is not so clear. Why is it so connected to misfortune? One story is from the times of the dreaded gallows, when condemned people use ladders to climb up to a row before meeting their maker. Back to the first reason though, walking underneath a ladder, especially on a work site, is just plain dangerous. So whether superstitious or not, it's probably good advice to follow. 16. Friday the 13th. When spooky coincidences or strange events pop up, you might check the calendar to see if it's Friday the 13th, even if just out of curiosity. In astrology, the number 13 is associated with death. The myth has become so strong that it's spilled over into science. The medical term tristeacophobia refers to the fear of the number 13. Some buildings even intentionally skip the 13th floor. And for some reason, we put a fact about 13 on number 16. Maybe we're superstitious. Who knows? I'm not. <laughs> 15. Horseshoes. Horseshoes have been used for centuries as a symbol of strength and good fortune, and can be traced back to the Celts. <laughs> Horseshoes were supposedly the perfect weapon to ward off the mysterious creatures of the forest, like goblins and elves, who for some reason were scared of metal. These days, in some parts of the world, horseshoes are handed out to newly married brides. Also, if I remember correctly, if you hang a horseshoe right, like, ups, right side up, that's supposed to collect the good luck. and. You don't want to hang it upside down. So that's another part of that. that you're welcome. Hashtag Mike Facts. 14. Four Leaf Clover. This superstition once again goes back to the Celts. Oh, they were really lucky. Or unlucky, to, depending on how you look at it. Their belief that Four Leaf Clovers were lucky seems to have fused with Christianity at some point. And now any St. Patrick's Parade or Irish bar displays them everywhere. One estimate puts the odds of finding a four-leaf clover at 1 in 10,000. That's about the same as getting struck by lightning. Although I'd definitely rather have one than the other. 13. Beginner's luck. You know that feeling when you teach someone a game and they immediately beat you at it? You might brush it off as beginner's luck as a joke, but in your mind, it can be a real thing. It's part of what's called confirmation bias in psychology, which is when you subconsciously select information that supports something you already believe. Because beginner's luck is such a widely believed idea, when you see your friend beat you at their first shot at something, all well, this bias kicks in. 12. Itchy palms. Are you feeling an itch on the inside of your hand? According to a number of different cultures, it's a sign that you might be about to have some financial success. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think I've ever had itchy palms. Physically, itchy palms come from skin conditions or other things like contact with certain chemicals. 
These could be from working in harmful environments, in which case you very well could be in line to win a lawsuit from your employer. So just find a good attorney. 11. Seeing a shooting star. It's a common superstition that making a wish after seeing a shooting star makes sure that it comes true. Shooting stars are actually meteors entering our planet's atmosphere, and the chances are much higher than you might think. About 25 million cross the Earth's sky every single day, some much smaller than others. According to ancient Greek beliefs, these are the gods descending to Earth. 10. Moon and Behavior The moon has been a source of curiosity since humans began looking up to the skies. It's where we get the words lunatic and menstruation from. But can it really affect behavior, as some believe? A study from 2018 showed that people's moods may sync with the moon. Researchers linked it to the changes in a person's circadian rhythm, which is the body's 24-hour cycle. Full moons, for example, can make it harder to sleep and impact this circadian rhythm. If someone's acting a little out of character, check the moon. 9. End of a Rainbow An old legend claims that there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but most science tells us that you can never actually reach the end. That's because a rainbow is a visual phenomenon caused by the refraction of white light going through a rain droplet and being scattered at different angles with different colors. However, some pictures have captured the end of a rainbow, like this one, coming down onto a group of trees. There's no pot of gold in sight, but has anyone tried digging there yet? 8. Dream of Teeth Falling Out Dreams are theaters for our mind to run wild, sometimes in horrifying directions. If you've ever had a dream of your teeth falling out, you'll know how frightening this can be. The science behind it is usually related to distress or anxiety. Stress can even lead to grinding your teeth during your sleep, which can explain why they pop up in your dreams too. Or pop out, I guess. 7. Cows lying down means rain. A survey found that more than half of people believe that this was a good signal that rain was coming. While a direct link hasn't been found between cows lying down and the weather forecast, they do tend to stay standing up in higher temperatures. Other animals have similar predictive powers, with sharks anticipating hurricanes and snakes fleeing before earthquakes are felt. 6. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in morning, sailor's warning. Spend a decent amount of time on a boat and you'll probably hear this rule of thumb. As it turns out, there's solid evidence to back it up, too. The redness in the sky comes from water vapor, meaning there are possibilities of storms as this vapor moves closer over the day. That's why it's a sailor's warning. If the red sky appears closer to sunset, though, it means that upstream, further to the west, the coast is much clearer. 5. Blood Moons This is also known as a total lunar eclipse, but blood moon certainly has a better ring to it. About every three and a half years, two of them occur. For ancient cultures, the red color was a sign of danger or imminent attack. It appears red because this is the color with the longest wavelength, and when the moon is in Earth's shadow during this lunar eclipse, only these long waves can reach it from the sun. 4. Harvest Moon Not, not the video game. As since humans have been farming from the Earth, it's been important to know exactly when the best time is to plant crops. That's where the harvest moon comes from, which is when the moon is close to what's called the autumnal equinox. This is important for farmers because it means more light in the evenings, meaning longer work hours, and more food for everyone. Although as a fan of Disney at night, um, I, I don't like daylight savings time. I think Disney at night is amazing. I mentioned it in the video where I came back. Disney at night is the greatest. How are you gonna have an entire land that looks amazing at night looking at you, Pandora, and close the park early? I don't like daylight savings time. Sorry. Which one do you prefer, daylight savings time or not? Let me know in the comments below. Regular time. What is it? Just normal. Three, fish jumping out of water. If you ever catch a fish jumping out of the water, it's supposed to be a good thing. Many believe there is a connection with positivity, change, and even fertility. Do they really leap into the air though? Absolutely though mainly when they're scared, in danger, or in hot pursuit of their own food. In fact, salmon can leap over 10 feet into the air, right into a bear's mouth sometimes. Talk about bad luck. Two, dogs howling at night. Is your neighbor's dog howling at night again? Aside from ruining your sleep, it could be an omen of death, if you're the superstitious type. That 
could be it, or it could be from anxiety or the way to mark their territory. Another reason is a way to communicate long distances. Maybe it's time to buy these dogs a phone. One, birds flying into a house or window. A bird slamming into your window doesn't sound like a good thing, but according to some, it's linked to changes in life. Hopefully not just changing a broken window. The science behind it is pretty simple. Birds aren't that great at figuring out that glass is solid, especially when there are reflections of trees on it. And to be fair to them, most of us have walked into a glass door at least once before. I have a story about that. I was at a party with my grandma and some of her friends and I went inside, or I stepped outside to ask anyone if they needed anything. I just went, hey, anyone need anything? Apparently in that split second, my grandma shut the door. So I was like, anyone need anything? Nope. Wham! So that was fun. Thanks, Grandma. I still remember that. I was probably like nine. <laughs> so what's the superstition you used to believe in? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in that description. Now, when it comes to science, there are plenty of questions that no matter how much research goes into them, still can't be answered. Like, have you ever heard of hemolacria? It's a condition that makes people cry blood, like in Casino Royale. Or how about Morgellons disease, where sufferers have the feeling there's something underneath their skin trying to get out, turning into chronic rashes and sores and making life almost impossible. Find out all of that and more mind-boggling diseases science can explain by clicking right here. Trust me, I know those two sound horrifying. Probably not the best two examples to pick. Click it, trust me, trust me.